Hello, and this is the fourth video. Uh, in the earlier videos, we looked at uh, some formatting and autosum. And we've used up three different sheets. And uh, what I want to show you how you can add new sheets. And then, then I'll show you some. Uh, we'll do one practical example uh, in Excel to kind of bring everything together. Then we'll go on to some more lessons in Excel. So if I wanted to add a new sheet, I can click on the insert on the menu bar and if you start thinking about it the word itself is a logical wording insert so you can insert rows insert columns insert worksheet that's what a sheet is so you can have as many sheets you want and you can also rename the sheet um, with whatever name you want to give it so let's insert a sheet now so I'll click on insert and then I click on the word worksheet and if you look on the bottom you see sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 4, and then sheet 3. Now if I want to move that and put them in order, I can just take my mouse on the bottom, left click and hold on the word sheet 4, and then just drag it after sheet 3. So I can just come down, left click and hold it, and then just drag it. Now if I want to rename that any of the sheets or this sheet in particular, I can just take my mouse, to that word right click click on the word rename and I can just type the word practice or whatever press enter I'm just gonna pause the video for a second and I'm gonna enter a simple example in there so if you look at it I've just added a simple example where I have some names of the products there's a price and there is a discount column and we need to calculate the rest which is the sale price we need to figure out the tax on the sale price and then the total price it's always good to kind of get a good sense of what the example is all about in your head the calculation and then you start doing it so in this case we've got the price and there's a discount so the sales price which is which should be equal to the price minus the discount so that is what will go in D2 in E2, which is your tax, which I just made up 5%. Here in Canada, we pay 13% tax. Um, so it will be 5% of what? 5% of the sales tax. So you do equal to the sell for sale price multiplied by 5%. And then the total price is equal to the sale price plus the taxes. So let's do that calculation. So I'm going to start with equal to. Take my mouse. Click on the sell for price. Minus the discount and I can hit the check mark that is done now I can come to the corner look for the fill handle remember the fill handle from the previous vid video um, if you come to the D2 cell on the right hand corner you see the fill handle left click and hold it and drag it down and it will fill up all your information now click on the cell E2 now E2 is equal to sale price multiplied by 5% so I could do it a couple of different ways. I could do equal to the sell for sale price, which is D2. Click in it. Multiply by 5%. And I can hit the check mark. Or, if I wanted, I could do equal to, in this case it is D3, multiply by 0 0.05, which is the same as 5%. I can hit the check mark and I can use the fill handle now the total price is equal to sales price plus the tax so if I want I can just go in there and do it individually or I can just select the cells like this and I can hit the auto sum button so we'll just practice the auto sum it's done click on that cell look for the fill handle left click and hold it and drag it down So this was a simple example in Excel and how you do a lot of the different things that we've been doing since the first video. Now let's look at some of the simple features within Excel. Um, you, if you use Microsoft Word, you are aware of the print preview. There is this button right there next to the print button. It says print preview. If I click on it, it will show me what my information will look like on the piece of paper when it is printed and if I just click on it it will just zoom it a little bit 
So if you will see that there are no lines around it, no nothing. It's all just the way it is. So if I wanted to add it, right there on the top there is a setup option. So right now I'm in the print preview and I'll see the setup option. I click it and I get this page. It's called the page setup. So on this I go to the sheet option right there on the top and I choose the option where it says grid lines and I click it. Grid lines. And I click OK. So now you see it's got those dotted lines around it. If I want, I can go back to the setup option and in the margin section on the bottom it says center on page horizontally and vertically. So it will put the information right in the middle if you need it to. And I click OK. So now the information is in the middle of the page. If you want to get out of the print preview you can hit the close button and you are back at it. You can even go back to the setup option from here by going to file and then page setup and you get the same options. In the margins you can change the top and the bottom margins. There is also the option for header and footer and if you remember from Microsoft Word the header part is on the top in the margin section where you cannot type anything usually you can add a header or in the bottom part a footer so you could choose one of the custom headers from here like page numbers and things like that or you could create your own by going to custom header or custom footer so if you go to custom header I can choose to type something in the left center here I can click in the center and I can go ahead and type my name or whatever I want click OK and click OK now if you wanted to see what your header look like you can go to print preview and right there on the top that's the name that's where it shows up and you can click close to close out of it let's look at one more option that is available in the file page setup so if I go to file page setup in the page section, you get the option where you can say portrait or landscape, which is the, the way your orientation of the page will be. If you had a lot of columns, you could use landscape so all the columns will fit on a page. You can also adjust to the 100% it says of normal size. So if your information was going to the next page, you can say shrink it to 80% or 70% or 90% so that it fits on one page. If you wanted to print it, you can either go from printing from that, but it will print right away, or you could go to File and then Print. Now you get to choose how many copies you want by clicking the buttons up here. And you can also choose if you had selected something, you could choose the button selection. You can also choose entire workbook. That means all the sheets by default it is on active sheet which is just the sheet you are on and if you click OK it will start printing I'm not going to do that I can just hit cancel right now one of the other things you can do is um, to add like dollar signs and things like that so if I want to put a dollar sign on all of these numbers on the screen I can go ahead and select all the numbers and then right on the toolbar there's a dollar sign right there it says currency style and I can click it it puts the dollar sign on it and also puts like two decimals if I did not want two decimals there is an option here where it says decrease decimal if I click it it reduces it and if I wanted to add it I could use the increase decimal button and I can add it the other way I could do it while I have everything selected I can go to format and cells and then in the number section I can choose whether it is accounting I can choose currency I can choose how many decimal points the symbol I can also choose what the negative numbers will look like whether you want it to look like that as a negative you want it to show up in red so you can choose that click OK 
you can also select all the information and then hit the center so that everything is in the center of the cell which is different as merge and center which is that is like on the top where it will merge all the cells you don't want to do that in this case because you will lose all your information you can also add a solid border around it we looked at adding grid lines which is like a dotted lines if you want it you can select all your information and right here on the toolbar you see this option here when you click on it you can choose all borders now you will see that it's got a solid line around it if we go to the print preview you see there's a solid line and you can hit close to get another print preview We'll leave today's lesson at that and we'll continue with the fifth video. Thank you for watching.